BC Ferries is increasing its fuel surcharge to 2.5% on June 1st. That's more than double the existing gas levy on passenger tickets. The ferry company says it's because of the rising cost of fuel, and it has to pass that cost down to the consumer. BC Ferries does not benefit financially from uh, the fuel surcharges. We consume nearly uh, what would be over $100 million in fuel per year. So it is our, one of our largest expenses, and we do have to pass that on to our customers, unfortunately. Gas prices in Metro Vancouver hit nearly $2.23 per litre over the weekend, a record high. The BC Ferries gas levy increase means foot passengers would pay an extra 45 cents, and people driving onto the ferry would pay an extra $2. So I'm on the ferry uh, every other week uh, for business, and that extra $2 isn't going to make a difference when you're paying you know, 50 to $80 a trip. Gord Wright lives in Ladner, B.C. and won't be cancelling his ferry trips, nor will he stop his family's 3,000-kilometer road trip this August. But record-breaking gas prices are making some British Columbians reconsider how to go about their summer adventures. The Wright family bought a hybrid vehicle two years ago, so they're holding on to their plans. Our whole family were headed to Great Falls, Montana to see my mother-in-law, and we'll take my mother with us. And uh, it's going to be a round trip coming back through Alberta and uh, and through southern BC along Highway 3. So certainly the hybrid uh, will make a difference. It probably gets about 35% better fuel economy than our old uh, all-gas vehicle did. I mean, I guess if gas pricing went to $5 a litre, then maybe I'd second-guess it. But uh, we're going to do the trip no matter what. We reached out to British Columbians on social media, some commenting they would scale down their summer road trip plans, bite the bullet and do them anyway, and a few planning to cancel trips altogether. But whether you're doing a road trip or running an errand, Wright says it's tough to avoid filling up at the pump in this province. But we're really very car-centric in BC. Anytime we've got to get city to city, we're going to have to take our cars because there's not really other other options. In Tawasin, Kirjuno, City News.